Hello and welcome to this video tutorial which will explain the order management feature available for use on MyRico.ca. I'm going to log into MyRico.ca using my credentials. As you can see, the order management module is anchored on the dashboard. Once I click on this, I am presented with three features. We have the order tracking. This feature allows me to look at details of various orders. The advanced order search. This feature allows me to search for orders using different search criteria. And the shipment tracking. This feature is a condensed version of advanced order search. Let's have a look at the order tracking first. Here we have access to four different types of orders. We have the service calls, the equipment orders, the supply orders, and the part orders. You have the ability to filter data in this table by using icons on top of each column. This view shows the overview details of the status of an order. Let's click on one order to view its details. On this screen, you can see more details about the service call. Service order column shows information like the customer order number, the customer incident number, the machine serial number, the service address, and more. Billing information column shows the customer's billing details, and the service information column shows the service times related to this call. Towards the middle of the screen, we show service activities that have been performed to date on the call. You can also see the date and time stamps on each activity. Towards the bottom of the screen are the part details which were used while servicing this machine. In this example, we have a PCU and a cleaning unit. The order data is refreshed every night from Rico's backend system. As you can see from the timestamp, the data for the service call was refreshed on October 17th at 8.26 a.m. The refresh button next to the timestamp allows you to get the latest update for an order at any point of time. Once the data is refreshed, the timestamps also get changed. Let's go back and have a look at the equipment orders. This view shows the overview details of the status of an equipment order. Let's click on one of the orders to view its details. On this screen, you can see more details about the equipment order. The equipment order column shows the customer's order number, the order date, the order status, and more. The billing information column shows the customer's billing details, and the shipment information column shows the shipping details for this order. Towards the bottom of the screen, you can see details of the items placed against this order. In this order, there were two items. You can see the quantities ordered and shipped for each order. If a particular item is on back order, you will see a quantity in the back ordered column. You can also see the status of each order. The courier details are recorded against the item in the order. By clicking the courier number, the courier website will open in a separate window to show you the tracking details of the order. Similar to the service orders, there is a refresh button next to the timestamp which allows you to get the latest update for an order at any point in time. Once the data is refreshed, the timestamp also gets changed. Supplies and part orders are very similar to equipment orders just shown. Let's learn about the next feature which is the advanced order search. This gives you the ability to search for orders by entering one or more of the attributes shown on this page. Here you can do a partial search, which means that you do not have to enter the entire value of an attribute to search for orders. You enter a partial value and the system will search for matching results. As you can see, I searched for all the orders that start with the letter D. As you can see, I searched for all the orders that have start with the letter D and all the results show towards the bottom of the page. Let's learn about the next feature, which is the shipment tracking. This gives you the ability to search by entering either the RICO order number, 
the customer order number, or the customer incident number within the same field. As you can see, I tried to search for an order by entering a recall order number. There is also an ability to search for orders by entering either the recall order number, the customer order number, or the customer incident number in the order search box, which is present at the top of every page. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the online training for the order management module of myrico.ca.